Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Demon's Crest. Before we uh, go to the forest, we're gonna head back to town, grab a few items. Uh, I mistook last uh, the last few videos that the mercury would get me out. It's, uh, it's the sulfur that does it, and we're gonna go grab that. And uh, also, I'm gonna re, re get the imp uh, spell. I'm not gonna use it in this video, but I will use it in the video after this one, and finally be able to show off what it does. But it's, I'm just using it now, using the, the GP that I have, getting all that done. And then we'll head to the forest and uh, get some progress on. Oh yeah, and I show off the, the sulfur right here, because like, it's not really a good place to use it at this point. You just exit the level, so I figure I'd use it here, show it off. That's what it looks like. Now we're back to the world map. Head over to the, uh... I like to call it the Dragon Forest, because there's a giant dragon skeleton right there. But call it what you will. It's pretty awesome. It's got this, uh, lush, tropical feel to it. Those vines are indestructible. Uh, those caterpillar guys take two hits to kill. Those the bats. You know, them. So we, we do a little bit of sequence breaking here. Uh getting an urn that you should only be able to get once you're able to break those vines, but taking a little bit of damage will be able to get that. I kind of fuck around here to show you the, uh, just let you get a feel for the area. Yeah, this is an area we'll have to come back to later. It's the uh, alternate path to this area. We'll be back here once we get uh, the ability to cut vines and the ability to go under. That urn there? Normally, you'd have to cut the vine, but if you just take a hit there and jump, it's fine. You can get it. Not too hard. This next section is really easy. You just float over the water. There's nothing down there that you can get at this point. And the alternate path runs through here, so we'll have to come through here anyway when we come back. But, uh, those little platforms, uh, they, they shoot things at you, but really, if you can just keep hovering, it's no big deal. It's really easy to get past. This is the main area, the, the most important area of the first path. Oh no, what the- oh! The forest is now on fire, thanks to the boss of this area. And uh, now if we jump too high, it will hurt us. I'll show it off right here. Yeah, it hurts us, takes us one hit damage. Uh, fire will randomly fall from the sky, hit us. Large chunks of fire will split up into uh, smaller chunks and spread out towards you. These guys, the Buster is really the weakest ability, but like, it doesn't do much damage to these guys. Uh, the fire does about the same amount of hits though, so like, it's not really an advantage. I suggest you just keep going and not really deal with these tentacle guys. Unless, unless they're hindering you in some way, it's really bad. Here's an armor guy again. I'm going to show off that you can get them normally with the fire if you just backstab them. Here, I was going to use the Buster, but I got a bit uh, cocky and screwed that up. Anyways, we're gonna get go into this little secret path here and get our second talisman, the most useless talisman in the game. This is the skull talisman. It allows us to get more health by destroying pots and enemies. It's really kind of useless because what you really want from destroying enemies and pots is gold, money, and this sort of takes away your chances of getting more money. Usually, there's always a full health next to the bosses, so you really do not need to, that enemy to drop more health. It's kind of a useless thing. Anyways, let's so go with the boss. He's kind of tough. His weakness is the ground uh, dasher. This is the, yeah, he makes his official appearance. Forming from those birds. This is the Fire Lord, the Flame Lord, whatever you want to call him. Uh, that's one of his moves. He dashes towards you in a fire form. He throws those little birds at you. Always the same pattern. And eventually he'll shoot upwards into the, the trees and then he'll shoot down like that, rains down fire. He's kind of tough because he's uh, you're you're limited to the area under the trees. You can't jump high or you'll like take damage or you have to like do half jumps. But his first form is really easy. Now he goes into his second form where he's like a ball of, of evil or whatever. His form is also pretty easy. You just gotta duck his arcs and shoot shoot the ground with his. Uh, 
hovering down. You can hit him in the air, but it's not really worth it because you don't do as much damage. And you have a higher chance of getting hit if you do that. This boss, I, I usually get really cocky against this boss. I died a couple of times just to this phase because I got too cocky. He's really not that bad. Let's get used to it. He goes down fairly quick, too. That's really easy to, like, uh, anticipate the, the drop thing. Anyways, he's dead now, and he drops the most useless piece of the fire crest because it's not even a fire ability at all. It's the tornado move. It'll make a little platform for us. I'll show it off later. But you know what? I don't think I've utterly broken this boss enough. I think we're going to have to go back. We're going to have to go back in time before I beat the boss right now. So we're back to before I access the final boss. That's not the final boss. The boss. And uh, the forest is still in fire and everything. Start the, the fight. This time, however, we're gonna lose. We're gonna let him kill us. Just gonna run into him, let him wreck our shit. Oh, also, I wanted to show off that the normal fire does absolutely no damage to him. Just goes right into him. Which, you know, makes sense, and I like that it's a new touch to, to add for this boss. Anyway, just do this and die. And also, I like the Firebrand's death animation. Like, crumbling into bones is pretty awesome. We respawn here because we were, like, s since we're going through the door, sets, uh, sets this as our respawn point. Something a little bit different about the forest this time, there's no ceiling. We have completely removed that. I don't know if it's a glitch or if the game is just like, okay, you had trouble against this boss, we're gonna make him super easy for you. Also, we can go back and get something that we'd have to come back for if we didn't. This life up. Life up is usually the one that you'll use the tornado to get, but since we can just fly back and get it, it's much easier that way. We'll deal with these armor guys, and then we'll go back and fight the flame lord without the ceiling. You'll see he's incredibly easy and gimped this way. I was debating just fighting him this way, but I wanted to show off the, the full experience of actually fighting him. So easy, you don't even know. He won't use those two other moves, he'll just do the dash. I think he might throw the two birds, but I have never seen him do this. They'll shoot him up, they do nothing, they just keep going up. It's really super easy. He's a friggin' joke, really. Second form is the same though, nothing really special. I, I get a little cocky trying to hit him in midair there. I get hit a few times, but after this, I, I pretty much I got him down. He's got a really easy to memorize pattern. your trust into your ground dasher move. Anyways, that's him. He's down again, and we'll again grab the tornado move. And this time I'll actually show it off. Grab that. It says you can go higher than before, but really, it's not that useful. It's completely... It, it is... I've never used this practically. I'm gonna show it off, though. It's got a pretty interesting look to it, I guess. Sort of the platform. You go on it, it kind of flattens and then poofs out after a little while. It doesn't last that long. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna farm a little bit, grab some, uh, fill up the rest of my urns and vellums, and uh, I'll show off what all the things I buy do next time. And next time we'll be headed to the Cursed Towers, so, or the Cursed Towers, I should say. So I'll see you guys then. Alright, bye.